If you think narcissists do not change, you have got it wrong. Why? Because these people do change. The only difference is they become the worst version possible of themselves with time. They become more skilled at wearing these masks to fool people. They become more skilled at putting on this facade to make people believe that they are interacting with a trustworthy person. They become more skilled at manipulating people, gaslighting people, distorting their reality. They become more capable at hiding behind the facade of normalcy. This is how they change. Let's explore it more in today's episode. Before we get started with the content of this episode, I'm really curious to know how you think a narcissist could possibly change in what ways what do you think this episode is all about drop your guesses your ideas whatever it is that comes to you your answers in the comments below and let's see if that is what this whole thing is all about hi I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. In today's episode, we're going to talk about something very interesting. How narcissists change. Because the common advice given is do not wait for the narcissist to change because nothing is going to change ever. But it sounds counterintuitive to say they do change doesn't it? It's only about how they become worse, not better. That is what this whole change is about. When the narcissist starts becoming a narcissist, they slowly but surely kill that part of themselves that helps them to reflect that ask them the question are you doing the right thing is this the right thing to do why don't you think before you act basically they kill their conscience which is why a time comes in their life where they don't care where that voice does not exist anymore the guilt the shame that you and i feel before doing something wrong, they don't feel any of that. They become quite predatory, quite primal in their nature, only focused on the prey, on the hunt, and then how to bring it down. That is what they do and that is how their personality is formed, shaped, maintained and sustained. With time passing on and with the experiences they gain from hunting people down and getting supply from them, they become more sophisticated in their ways of doing so. They learn how to seep in through people's defenses, how to win people trust, how to appear normal, how to make it extremely difficult for people to recognize their narcissism, how to bring down those walls of defense and make people believe that they are being loved by the narcissist. So they do change only in that they become more manipulative, more cruel, more evil, darker with time than the opposite. Age brings in change in their personality as well because as they change, their narcissistic defenses are not able to keep their true self as suppressed as they were able to in the past. Their true self pops up more, their rottenness, their insecurities just ooze out of them and that is when they become cranky, that is when they become hostile, aggressive, more vindictive, more punitive than ever and that is when you get to see the ugliest side of them. They become like this mouse who is afraid of death has been cornered, is wet, cannot run, and now is holding on to anything to survive. That is a very strong visual, isn't it? That is what they become and turn into, and it's a very pathetic situation to be in for the narcissist, because their narcissistic false self is no longer strong, strong enough to make them control other people, strong enough to make them a come across as charming as they used to be, strong enough to make them feel they're omnipotent. Now it is weak and they can't help but try to rely on others, try to use other narcissistic means to get their supply. The surprising thing is, even after collapse, a narcissist doesn't change. We need to understand that because there are so many self-aware narcissists out there and that might give you a false hope. You might think, well, Probably they have realized who they are. They have experienced a collapse and now they have changed. Of course not. This narcissistic collapse only does one thing. It brings down all those defenses and the narcissist becomes aware of their faults. They accept that there is something wrong with them. But that acceptance is no greater than a tiger accepting the fact that there are stripes on its body. What does a tiger do after realizing that these 
stripes exist nothing they just know they are there that is exactly what happens in a narcissist case when they do realize there is something wrong with them when they do realize they are fucked up they do not change they just know they are what they are and that is what then they take advantage of as you may already know in many cases now i am not saying those self-aware narcissists who do this work are not contributing to this field of course not but we need to understand and consider the fact that their driving force is the ego supply they get out of this work not the true empathetic compassionate intention of changing people's life why because they are not capable of that it's impossible for a narcissist to become aware of their emotional deficit and then regain the emotional capacity they never got a chance to develop so that's what we need to keep in mind and this is also an example of the sophistication a narcissist false self may become more sophisticated at gaining supply it may learn more how to hide itself properly the way a virus changes over time and creates variants of itself just to adapt to the immune system and to escape it that is exactly what happens in a narcissist psyche that is what happens to their personality they just become more adapt at escaping your defenses escaping your awareness they become more adept at making you take the bait and hook you in reel you in one such variation that i'm sure you know of is covert narcissism when narcissistic abuse and narcissism and narcissists all these things come to mind we naturally and i think right away think of overt narcissists narcissists who are very grandiose in expression of their entitlement who are delusional who can be easily spotted and seen but then there is this variant which is a very difficult one to detect and to deal with a covert vulnerable narcissist they are not loud they are not charming they are not grandiose either at least overtly if you come across a covert narcissist you won't see any evident signs of narcissism in their personality at all but the opposite they may be shy they may be quiet quite introverted they may put themselves down which is not the main trait of narcissism they may listen they may come across very intuitive empathetic they may connect with you all of that will give you a false impression about that person but underneath that facade is the wolf the wolf in the sheep's clothing that is one variation the other is the altruism the altruistic narcissist communal narcissist i mean i can name so many so what i'm trying to say here is that with time with their own evolution with the evolution of their narcissistic self they do change but only for the worst not for the better so the conclusion is same a narcissist cannot change the only change that happens it happens in the negative direction not in the positive one which again is very very unfortunate that was it for today's episode i hope you found it insightful if you did let me know in the comments drop a like and share this episode with others i'll talk with you in the next one until then let the healing begin and continue